Case Law on Lexis Advance is presented in CaseSpace, our case citator, and in full text judgments. CaseSpace provides a summary of the treatment and facts of the case and is a simple way to digest the information before diving into the full text judgment. The top of the case base record shows the case name along with the case base signal. The case base signal is an indication of the treatment of the case when cited by subsequent judgments. You can access the signal help to review an explanation of the case base signals and annotations. Underneath the case name, you have a list of case citations. Click on a citation to link out to that full text judgment or select copy citation to copy the full citation as a hyperlink for referencing. You can use the go to or the in this document box to jump to the relevant section of the citator. The Catchwords and Digest provides a summary of the key issues and outcomes of the case. This can assist you in eliminating cases that may have come up as keyword matches, but are irrelevant to your research based on the points of law discussed. You also have the words and phrases judicially considered. The litigation history lists both prior and subsequent litigation history of the primary case. The annotations included in this table indicate whether the primary case is an appeal against an earlier decision, whether the primary case has itself been affirmed, varied or reversed on appeal, and whether any judgments that are part of the same litigation are available. The paragraph level citation graph provides a data visualization representing the number of times a paragraph has been subsequently cited. This provides a more granular examination of the structure of a judgment and exposes the location of key arguments. Currently, the scope includes the High Court, Federal Court and Supreme and Appellate Courts from all Australian jurisdictions after 1998. Starting with a view of all paragraphs on the x-axis and number of judgments citing on the y-axis, users can see spikes and troughs per judge, making it easy to distinguish between the obitor and the ratio of the case. The precision provided by citation data increases efficiency as users can invest their time reviewing paragraphs with the most impact. Users can toggle to show cited paragraphs only to hone in on the paragraphs with the most impact. The table underneath the graph lists all cases citing the primary case. Hovering over the bars in the graph shows you the paragraph number that bar represents as well as the number of cases citing that paragraph. Clicking the bar restricts the list of cases in the table below from all cases citing to only those cases citing the paragraph you have selected. Once you have selected a paragraph, you can tab across to the paragraph citing. This shows you the full text of the cited paragraph from our primary judgment, as well as the full text of the citing paragraphs, allowing you to review the references in context before linking out to review those decisions. The search within function allows users to run a full text search across the judgments referring to this case and overlays green highlighting on the graph to represent results. This allows users to review which paragraphs were cited by cases dealing with a certain issue or which cases citing a certain paragraph continue the discussion on a relevant issue or point of law. This enables users to locate more relevant references much more quickly and link straight to the relevant paragraphs of those judgments. Use the similar issues pod to find Australian cases with similar facts, issues or arguments to the judgment discussed in the adjacent case space document. Results in the pod are typically not in a citing relationship with the primary case and are produced through artificial intelligence combined with testing by legal editors and consultation with Australian customers. The nature of the similarity is emphasised by the catchwords and similarities text in the pod. This supports analogy-based case law research and reasoning and enables you to consider new or different lines of inquiry. Continue through CaseBase to review the publications referring to this case, which includes both journal articles and textbooks, cases considered by this case, a list of all cases that occurred prior to the primary decision that were considered as part of the judgment, and the legislation considered by this case.